Okay, what's a part two without a part three? Okay, I just saw Jinxie go in here. Jinxie! Did you go all the way across and oh, down to the railroad track? I hope not. Okay, Bear, let's go find Jinxie. Jinxie! <clears throat> yeah, so today was the worship of the precious and life-giving plants. That was, it was a really good service. I hope you guys had a blessed Orthodox service too. Oh, great, now the cats disappeared. <clears throat> Jinxie! As I sound like a person that's been singing too much in the past 24 hours. All right, well, I'm trusting God. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do this week. Yeah, I might, yeah, I'll do a preemptory um, video tomorrow before I tackle the cross that's been handed to me, because I could use support. It'll be nice to know people like Dr. Crispy Rosted. Oh, she's in the tree! Come on, Jinx! Get down from there! To know Dr. Crispy's there praying for me, and Kristen, Slow Boy, Whiteboard, and all my other wonderful subscribers to the Orthodox Boomer Grandma channel. Hi, Jinxie! How are you doing on your first day out after falling in the wax pot and almost dying and costing me over a thousand dollars, and then me having to nurse you by trying to keep you from licking your leg? finally putting on a cone which did not keep you from licking your right rear leg at all because <laughs> you you're turning into a pretzel when you're grooming anyway no and then we started finally putting on this liquid band-aid oh, liquid band-aid for humans but she seemed to try to lick it after that but obviously it's whatever that may have helped somewhat dry it up and then the big old gnarly one inch long a third or half an inch thick scab got knocked off or finally fell off the other day. Okay, you guys, now I know there's no eclipse today because it's Sunday, but tomorrow if you do happen to be in the area of the whatever, where it'll be darker, you will hear crickets, among other things. Well, obviously the birds. But anyway, here we are. I guess part three isn't much shorter. But I'm trying not to talk too much, but yeah, you just need to be, become the cat. Look how neptic the cat is. Hi, baby. Do you like that too? There, there. Listen to those crickets. What do you think? Oh. I wonder if they started chirping more because the sun... Oh, oh! Do you guys see the geese? Oh my gosh! I have never seen a flock of Canadian geese flying that high with that many geese. Can you guys see it? Oh, let me try to zoom. It's so amazing. Summer's this way. You're going towards winter. Actually, yeah. Well, yeah, they're going south. Hmm. Maybe they just want it a little warmer than here. Because it's definitely been freezing. I thought we were going to lose all of our apricots yesterday. Because the snow, Thursday, Friday, and then it got really cold. But they seem to be all fuzzy and still on the tree today. So good, isn't he? I just want to be able to return his love and really be more loving to people. Somehow coming out in nature though, it feels so healing that I think I'll be in a better mood when I go see my husband right now. Oh, pray for Elias. He has a major earache and possibly ear infection in his left ear because of his hearing aid was rubbing a spot. Oh look, there's Buddy over there. Uh, his hearing aid rubbed something raw. So now he's to wear his ears totally inflamed and swollen and, 
you know, can barely get any drops in, but he just found an entire older, but not too old, uh, prescription for amoxicillin in the refrigerator. Because usually we, if we get antibiotics, we don't take them for the current thing. We tackle that with Russian choice and immune booster and colloidal silver usually and vitamin C and zinc and all that other good stuff. But anyway, so pray for his ear because I'm trying to get him to go into the walk-in clinic in the morning. So yeah, pray for the candle man. Oh, and candle orders are going through the roof right now, which is normal this time of year. <laughs> The animals stopped when I stopped. Oh my gosh. Do I have the guts to put up all of these three videos? All right. I hope it didn't sound vainglorious. Lord, if I did, forgive me. I hope I didn't sound silly and ridiculous, but that's okay. If I did, I hope people will tell me how ridiculous I am. Don't ever compliment me. <laughs> Whoa, bear, you just yanked on me. Yeah, don't ever compliment someone trying to live an ascetical, ascetic struggler's life. I've been working on that. Like, you know, it's so natural and wonderful to say how great somebody was or what they did. But when you are trying to be dispassionate, it's good to take that lesson from the, um, pretty sure it's in the Evergetinos, the four volume one, um, you know, about the monk that has to go out to the cemetery and scream and cuss and rail at the dead. And then the abbot asked him, well, how'd they respond? And he said, they didn't. And he said, now go out and compliment them and praise them to the skies and say how great they were and then come back. So he does and does that for a while. And of course they don't respond and he goes back and he tells the abbot that. And the abbot just says, I guess he just said like, see, Anyway, okay, now that I'm coming back and finding my tea and a beautiful pond, I am going to sign off because now I have to negotiate picking up tea, making sure Jinxie doesn't get swallowed up by bear. No, bear, you need to stay out of my tea too. Okay, so signing off the OBG, blessed Lent for the rest of the three weeks plus Holy Week. Okay, I'll be up here again soon. See, I can't even stop because I get anxious at the end and then I just, when I'm anxious, I always keep talking more. Okay, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God bless.